the project is too big for you to do by yourself. And so you're going to be working with people in your group from now through March. Science teacher Scott so McComb is rolling out a new project for his freshman class at Seattle's Aviation High School. You might be saying to yourself at this point, oh great, we're going to build a wing, we're going to break it. We're going to build another wing, we're going to break it. We're going to build another wing, we're going to break it. Oh gee, <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. But in fact, it is fun. Um, and let me tell you why. Because the goal is to introduce students today, to the joys and challenges of real-world engineering. Oh, a bending moment diagram. Oh, okay. I, I, a reasonably smart person. I can figure that out. Sure, all right. A little first derivative, a little calculus. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Oh, my. Uh-oh. Oh, friends. Okay. Engineering is fun, and engineering is hard or hard from the outside looking in. But once we get the hang of this, it's going to go like this. To and get the hang of engineering, students will work in teams of three for the next six months, competing to design a highly efficient, lightweight wing structure made of paper mache. Located in the heart of Seattle's sprawling aircraft design and construction industry, Aviation High School is a small science and math magnet that is open to any student with a passion for aviation. And it is dedicated to the practice of project-based learning. Ha-ha! Residents of the Duwamish, prepare to suffer. Oh, no. In environmental track. science class, <laughs> students write and perform plays to promote conservation. So our transit line, it's going to start over here at SeaTac, and it's going to go all the way down to White Center. <laughs> In math, they redesign Seattle's public transport system. It's going to break. It's going to bend. And in Macomb's science classroom, they learn how to build and break things. I like doing hands-on projects more just because I feel I learn better by learning from my own experiences. When we were doing the wing project, I learned from our experiences. Like our first wing was really bad, and then our third wing, we did really well. Oh, I'm so proud of us. <laughs> the wing project grew out of a series of summer meetings facilitated by project-based learning coach Eva Reeder. We need to go backwards from those big ideas and identify, well, what are the, what's the breakdown, the skills? Reader recruited um, structural engineer Doug Gross, who volunteered his time as subject matter expert on the project. You can't just put pressure on a wing because it's just about impossible. So what we do is we put loads on it at enough locations to give the same force distribution as you have in the uh, flying vehicle. You know, I started thinking about it. My mind kind of just goes into all the things people ought to know. Um, of course, I'm looking at it from the perspective of somebody who's been doing it for 15 years. You're talking about something that presupposes calculus and a lot of years of physics, et cetera. Now we're talking about how do you take this project and break it down so freshmen can do it. So I just take a step back and Eva helps me, you know, to say, well, you know, we can't do the universe, so we just grab the fundamental things that the students can understand. And so what I'm passing out now, this is a tentative timeline. Tentative meaning, of course, it's subject to change. If there's not buy-in from the students from the start, what you've suddenly committed to is three months or six months of, now I'm going to torture you with this project, which you're not interested in. So that's challenge number one. Uh, November 17th, we will design the wing. December 1st, we will build the wing. Challenge number two is finding a way to make it authentic. Who's working on this in real life? Why are we spending our time with this? Now our project that we're going to work on here is not the aerodynamics of a wing, it's the structural performance of a wing. We do this in the real world, too, and it's, it's very cool. And that's, I'm hoping to uh, show you how cool it is. Third is to introduce an element of, of challenge, to make students say, wait a minute, there, there is a reason for me to get better at what I'm doing. On March 24th, you're going to stand in front of your peers, you're going to stand in front of your parents, you're going to stand in front of a panel of engineers, and you're going to say, here's our wing design, this is the one we recommend, and here's why. You will have data, you will have graphs, you will have a clear presentation with clear roles, and you're going to knock the socks off people. Oh, nice wing, fellas. Oh. Did it slip off? <laughs> no, it just snapped. Oh. Nicely done. Yeah.